This is the Pot of Falls in Mosca, Colorado. What is the Pot of Falls? It's a hidden 25 foot waterfall that you can get to by hiking a short trail. The Pot of Falls is located in a recreational area known for its waterfall and sweeping vistas of the San Luis Valley, as well as uh, the adjacent mountain ranges and the Great Sand Dunes National Park. Watch this video till the end to see this hidden treasure. Don't forget to provide a comment and give us a thumbs up to let us know how we can improve our content. Welcome to HitFig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to HitFig Travel Channel on YouTube. This is the Zapata Falls Trail in Alamosa County, Colorado. Zapata Falls is located near Mosca, Colorado. You can get to Zapata Falls through Colorado State Highway 150. It's between mile markers 10 and 11. Just follow the signs for the Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve, which is about five miles further up from Zapata Falls. Once you um, get into Highway 150, the turn off to Zapata Falls is to the right and marked with a small sign. Once we get to the sign, we turn right and then we drove up the paved hill. As you get closer, the paved road actually ends for a dirt road, which is about 3.5 miles. Most cars should not have any problem, but it is rocky, so please drive slow like we did, as you don't want a flat tire. Once we got to the end of the road, there's a small parking lot, which was um, almost full by the time we got there at 10 a.m. If it's full, there's an overflow parking lot on the other side towards the right that you can park in. There are restrooms located at the trailhead of Zapata Falls Trail, and um, even from the parking lot, uh, you know, there you can see sweeping views of the valley floor below, the San Juan Mountains to the west, the adjacent Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve, and several um, many other towering peaks of the uh, Sangre de Cristo mountain range that Zapata Falls. Um, from Zapata Falls you can see it and, and so it's really beautiful during sunrises and sunsets here. Once we find a parking spot we began our walk up this half mile rocky trail. It's not really a hard trail but you will we'll be walking uh, up a steep hill um, to get to the to the falls with lots of rocks and then you have to come back down the same way to the parking lot. Obviously, the trail itself is not handicapped accessible, but you can go up to the parking lot um, where, you, you know, you can see the views from below to the valley below. Uh, we finally reached the bottom of the falls, um, and the only way to see the actual fall itself is to walk across a small creek. Um, the water, got to give you a warning, is very cold even in summer and um, it's definitely slippery in the creek. So make sure that you wear shoes that you can get wet because they will get wet if you plan um, to cross the creek to see the falls. Just a tip, you might want to bring a towel and a change of clothes and socks for late to you know change into later. Anywhere near water will bring out mosquitoes in warmer weather, even at 9,000 feet where uh, this fall is. So uh, use bug spray or cover up. You can see in this video uh, that where their people are crossing to the other side to get into this little narrow cave there to actually um, pass through to see the waterfall.
Uh, while you're here, look for the black swift bird. It's um, very rare and it nests only in this misty regions of this waterfall. Um, and then uh, make sure to stay on the trail so you don't disturb the uh, birds that are nesting in the cliff there. The name Zapata is a Spanish word for shoe and it's tied to the history of the settlement in the San Luis Valley. Um, in 1864, when Mexican families established the community of Zapata, um, they raised sheep and other livestock. And in 1870, a cattleman um, who consolidated all the land established one of the San Luis first and largest cattle ranches known as Zapata uh, Ranch, which remains an active ranch even today. After a nice leisurely hike um, with, of course, great views and an opportunity to play in the creek, we walked down and back to our car to visit the National Park. Zapata Falls will take you two or more hours depending on your interest. Combine it with a visit to the Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve. FYI, look for our new video on the Great Sand Dunes National Park coming up soon. Happy travels! Go to hitfig.com for more information or watch our other videos on the Hitfig Travel Channel on YouTube. Feel free to subscribe!